I was asked to do a drop at this house down in 213. I don't remember the address. I dropped off the product and took the cash. I was supposed to bring it back to the main house. That's where they run the logistics side of things. But I needed the cash. I pocketed it and stashed it in this place I found. I was planning on taking Reba and Archie and getting out of town. The fresh start. Get away from the Locos and the Johns knocking on our door all day and night. She could be a mama and I... Fuck, I don't know. They came looking for me quicker than I thought. When the money didn't come in, Julio sent them to find me. I hid in this apartment. Everyone knows about it. All the users hide up there when they need a place to crash. It was empty. I guess they maybe cleared it out before I arrived. They came in and grabbed me. I didn't see who, but I can take a good guess. Julio uses the same few guys to do his <laughs> heavy hitting. When I woke up, I was there. In the attic. That's where they do their work. I was tied to a table. Julio was there, but so was this other guy, Frank. That's all he goes by. Nobody ever sees him, but we all know what he does. He's a surgeon and a butcher in one. They wanted to know where the money was, but I couldn't tell them. I needed it. I had to get out of this city. Did he you alive? And now, with Archie, he deserves better than a junkie and a whore for parents. I've been there. I don't want that for him. I understand, Mr. Haynes, but can you try to stay focused? This house, where was it? Right. Sorry. The house. This is a different one. It's the lab. Well, the lab is underground in his hidden garage. They're cooking all the time down there. Then they open for business at night. Direct visits come late at night. You know, the bigger clients. You know what I'm saying? I was in the attic. It's where she used to live. Now it's where they take the people they need information from. I don't know what happened or why they left. Maybe I was dead. Maybe I was resurrected for a second chance. Fuck if I know. But I was alive and alone. The rest is a blur. I can't remember anything after I fell through the attic. I remember seeing her up there. But it couldn't have been. She had been quiet for too long. Maybe I was seeing things. But the next thing I knew, I was in the hospital. I ain't never been happier to see the cops in all my life. You're doing great, Reese. These houses, where are they? Are they connected? I can't remember the address. But I could show you. Never been good with names. They're connected to the business. One is the lab and storefront, and the other is where Julio and his boys operate things. The lab is at the back. It's all done up, ready to be fumigated. You can't miss it. Hiding in plain sight, you know? That's great. This is helpful, Reese. Can you think of anything else? No. It hurts. I'm tired. Can I go to sleep now? Gear up, boys. Our detectives just hit the jackpot following a new lead for methamphetamine production in 213 Park and need some door kickers for the job. They booked this tweaking gangbanger for shooting up a 4U station the other day. The fool had a note in his pocket all about this meth lab in 213 Park. He was planning on spending his earnings from the robbery up there. How do we know it's legit? Good question. Well, as our luck would have it, a uniformed patrol just happened to drive near the house a few days ago and picked up what they presumed was a hit-and-run victim by the side of the road. It turned out he was a runner for the guys that run the neighborhood. He admitted everything while in the back of the ambulance. He was in a bad way and wanted to clear his conscience. He'd pocketed the cash from this big deal he'd overseen. He was planning on skipping town with this hooker or something like that. They tortured him in the attic of this house and left him for dead. Once the hospital got him stabilized, he sang like a bird. He told us everything he could about this place in exchange for immunity. What sort of premises are we dealing with? We're dealing with multiple. There are two properties, both empty. One went into foreclosure and somehow got lost in the bank's systems. 
Nobody's touched it since. The second is a house just to the north. The family was killed during a robbery on their way to the airport. The house was being fumigated, and it sat that way empty ever since. Nobody seems to want the thing, but they're just the top layer. Our boy Reese managed to explain that there's a secret garage built under the property. That's where the heaviest footfall is happening. That's where we need to be. We've got the house under surveillance, but Reese gave us the core opening hours. That's when we move. The orders are to arrest at least two suspects at the property for detectives to pursue this investigation. We nail them and get this lab shut down and it's a big check in the wind column. We won't be welcome in this part of town. I'm sure most of you here know how its residents feel about police presence. So this will be a big crackdown. Be advised that we have no information on suspects or civilians other than the possibility many will be under the influence of methamphetamine and be highly erratic and potentially violent on contact. Not to mention gang activity, meaning the presence of firearms on persons within the meth house, so I would advise you proceed with extreme caution. We don't want to cause a riot, and lethal force is only permissible as a defensive measure. Am I clear on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want us to split into three teams. First team, I want you to take the first property. Sweep it. Arrest anybody that gets in your way. I want that house cleared and the garage held. Nobody gets in and nobody gets out until we've processed them. This mission is just as much about making a statement to the 213 district as it is about anything else. So, a bunch of drugs and people on them and gang activity on top of that. Well, this sounds like it could be fun, and it also sounds like we're gonna be using about every single tear gas canister we've got in our budget for the year. And if we do a good bust, then maybe they'll actually replace that tear gas as well, but... Talk to Element. Entry team suspects have taken refuge in the area, and are refusing to cooperate. Move in. Ah, uh, copy all. Body cameras are active, and we are proceeding at this time. Move in, clear the room. Come on, let's go. I drew a shotgun for this one. It's gonna be gonna be a lot of close encounters in this house. I've seen them before. Clear. Also, for some reason, Buckshot tends to do the job that 9mm doesn't. The army still hasn't really offered us any surplus stuff, so... Uh, contact! Contact! Let's... Let's put them through the windows! Gas through the windows! Oh, that didn't really work. Gas, gas, gas! Hold your fire, hold your fire. Let the go let the gas permeate. Damn it! Gas! Well, this is going south fast. Coming into hand Gas is coming up. Turn around and stay still. Turn around. Stay where you are. Detaining the suspect. Good to go. Talk to entry team. Copy. Move on. We better handle this while we still got gas spreading on the top floor. Let's go. I'm already out of gas grenades. Money pile. Hands up now. Drop to your knees. Drug pile. Secured. Provide support on me, Dr. On me. We got an injured miner here. Talk to entry team. Roger that. Medical assistance. Let's keep it going. We might need to speed this up too. 
On me. On your six. Our introduction into this area was not really all that well. Let's see, door is closed. Good. We'll keep it going. I know I shouldn't really be using the breacher for this, but it's a smaller... Oh crap, 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 crap. Can go down. Fall in on me. We need to keep clearing the bottom floor before we can proceed to the next house. Come on. Turn around. Don't get up. Closing the door. Securing the civilian. You can't just leave me here. Top reporting. To be Roger fair, I wouldn't team. want Great to be. No one there. Let's go. Clear. Damn, it's dark here. Yeah, clear. Keep it going. Fall in behind me. On you. Fall in on me. We'll check the other rooms. Door appears to be closed. There doesn't seem to be anyone in the bathroom. Clear. Watch on the left. On the left. Get me the hell out of here. Turn around. Turn around and think. Keep your hands up. Securing civilian. You guys got the LSPD, right? Civilian is compliant. This is talk. Roger, entry team. Great work. Keep going. Let's pop some more shells into that shotgun. We're gonna need them for the next house. Carry on. Advance. Gold. Move through there and get some CS gas flowing. These people obviously knew we were coming, which has really botched our entry for this one. Yeah, proceed. I'm gonna check the attic while we're at it. Damn, it's dark up here. This is prime ambush alley. At least the gas will help a little bit, but I don't think there's anyone up here. Well, I was wrong about that. Turn around, Turn around please. Put your fucking hands get down on your knees. Stay here. There's another person they wanted to punish? Most likely. I ground the talk. Civilian in custody and secured. This is talk. Roger. Trailers inbound. <coughs> All right, on my way down. I wish I brought more grenades. I wish they would stop doing that. There's not really much point to doing it. All right, keep moving. Mirror ready. What do you see? We're gonna lockpick it and just open it to verify. Yeah, clear. Enter the room and clear. Ten four. Move and get some CS gas through that door. Go. 
Watch for fire coming from below. Swap with me. Copy all. Turn around slowly. Hands up now. Civilian detained. I was just visiting a friend. Yeah, yeah. Civilian cuffed and ready for trailer. Shoot her down, shoot her down. Suspect down. Talk reporting. Roger that entry team. Tag him and keep moving. There's the gun. Tagging and bagging. I got nothing. Moving. I am fairly certain I did not order them to proceed downstairs, but hey. Seems like they did have a little bit of a mind on their own on that subject. Stay down and turn around. Right? Suspect handled. Clearing the room. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. You're in my way, sir. Breach it with a kick, then get a flashbang through that door, right? Securing evidence. Restraining suspect. Clear. Clear. There's no one here. Found another meth lab. Taking fire, taking fire. Just leave her be for the moment. Move and get some CS gas outside. Evidence secure. Go for it. Yeah, clear here. Need you to move. I need you to hand over your gas grenades. Go, go, go. Get eyes on the tango. DOA. Here's the gun. Pack nine. On my six. Fall in on me. Breach that with a kick, Ooh, then get some CS gas that. through here. Let's go. Pop it. Handle it. Stay with me. Move and continue with CS gas. I want you to deploy CS gas in this direction. Come on. Thank you. Drop it. Turn around. I got this one. Alright, move into secure evidence and uh, weapons. 
Suspect incapacitated. Evidence secure. Sweep and clear. Do it. Just keep sweeping, keep securing. Just gonna see if this works. No, we still need the special ammunition for it. I'll bag it. Empty over here. No contacts. Copy all. I'll go into the house for another look, then we're done. Copy all. So my personal best being A+, uh, we managed to get most of the objectives. Most of the suspects were not captured alive, which is probably gonna drag down the score. But we don't have any officers dead, so... I can live with that. However, it seems like my officers are somewhat stressed, so I may need to rotate them in order to avoid them getting burned out or retiring. <laughs> 